This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Good evening, I'm Chloe Beardsley. Ariana Bennett has the night off. Well, after searching for more than 24 hours, the Nevada Highway Patrol has found a man who they say caused a deadly head-on collision on Mount Rose Highway last night. Adam Varhochikol has been following the story since it started and now joins us live in the newsroom. Adam, what's the latest? Well, Chloe, troopers told us they were able to track 34-year-old uh, Manuel Mejia Verduzco in his Incline Village home where they say he was hiding. And the crash killed his passenger, who troopers and the Washoe County Medical Examiner's Office confirmed as 40-year-old Hugo Soto. Troopers say they got a lot of help from Soto's family to identify Mejia Verduzco as a suspect. That's after doing some investigating of their own. And they were able to find out uh, a name, a possible um, work address, and a possible home address as well. Investigators went to his home and knocked on the door, but no one answered. Then troopers say the landlord let them inside and found Mejia Verduzco hiding. They were able to recover some wet clothing uh, from the suspect's um, apartment, which could be consistent of being uh, out in the snow, uh, out in the cold weather. Before being booked, Mejia Verduzco was taken to Renown Regional Medical Center, where he was treated for numerous injuries. That were consistent with uh, being in a car accident. He had, uh, looks like we have a broken left arm, uh, an injury to one of the ankles at this time, possibly broken also, and also possibly a broken nose, uh, but there's some facial swelling as well. Last night, troopers say Mejia Verduzco allegedly got out of the car and ran off after drifting into the other lane and hit a blue Jeep and sent three people to the hospital. One of them was released today, while the other two are still at renown, but fortunately, their injuries are no longer considered to be life-threatening. Troopers told us Mejia Verduzco was convicted of a DUI in the past and apparently has some non-extraditable warrants out of Las Vegas. They found open beer cans inside the rodeo, but say it'll be difficult to determine whether alcohol was a factor. Last night would have been a better chance to do so because now it's, you know, it's a day later uh, and it's hard to actually prove that anyone was actually intoxicated at the time of the accident. Here's a picture of Soto we found on Facebook and a few people who knew him called the newsroom to say he was a good man who loved his family very much. Now, the Nevada Highway Patrol says they're still looking into what Mejia Verduzco could exactly be charged with, like leaving the scene of an accident causing death. Covering the big story live, Adam Varahachikul, Channel 2 News. Thanks, Adam. Sparks